Okay, welcome to a basic instructional video. Uh, this is really being put together actually with my yet oldest son in mind, but it could well apply to anybody and I hope you find it useful. Um, it's just about how to move a car off in first gear safely, finding clutch bite, setting the accelerator and just using the controls properly. Um, I won't intend to move the car very far, we are just in a car park and this will give you some idea of what you need to do. Before carrying out this basic instructional video, uh, if you don't hold a driving license, obviously I would certainly insist that you are on private ground and you are not doing this on a public roadway. Uh, I will say to you that there are certain basic uh, safety checks you must also carry out before you even consider starting the engine. Make sure you've got all of your doors properly and securely shut. Make sure your seat is in a position where you can reach the foot controls and obviously the steering wheel comfortably and safely. Make sure that the handbrake is applied and the gear stick is in neutral. If you were going to drive off, obviously, I would also suggest that you make sure your seatbelt is on and your mirrors are adjusted. So just to go through the pre-start checks with you then. The pre-start checks are straightforward. Uh, as I have just indicated, make sure the handbrake is on and the gear, steve, the gear lever is in neutral, so to confirm that, just put your hand on the gear lever, push the clutch, the extreme left pedal all the way down, and shake the gear lever like that. Okay, now that's done, so the next thing you can do is to leave your foot on the clutch, just to make it easier for the engine to start, find the ignition key with your right hand, and then just turn the engine on. You'll watch as we turn on, you'll see the rev counter rise a little there in the display. You can see the lights coming on on the instruments, confirming that everything is there, all the lights are working, the uh, car is ready to start. So we start the engine now, you'll hear it start. Okay, and you see the rev counter rise. I let my foot go off the accelerator and the rev counter rises and just stays to just under 1,000 revs. So that's on the left hand side, there's the temperature, there's the fuel gauge, we've got the uh, rev counter with that big red section on it, and we have the speedometer there on the other side, and we have the engine temperature gauge on the left. The warning light there on the right tells you that the handbrake is on, and also another warning light there just telling me obviously I haven't fastened my seatbelt. Now, first thing we do, we know the car is handbrake on and in neutral, so we can take our foot off the clutch. Yep. Now, I'm going to put the camera down and just show you my foot going down on the clutch pedal, okay? It disappears into virtually nothing there, but push that clutch pedal to the floor, okay? Leave your other foot just away from the accelerator at the moment, yep? Now, put the car into first gear, hold on the top of the stick, move it slightly to the left, and then fully up towards where the left-hand wheel of the car will be. Keep your foot flat down on the clutch at the moment. Now we're going to position your accelerator foot. Just raise the revs a little, still with the clutch flat down, on your accelerator foot. Can you hear the engine humming a little? Just balance the revs a little bit. And you can see on the speedometer, on the rev counter rather, that the revs are slightly raised. Now we're going to do a thing called find clutch bite. Yep. Now, Leave the, the accelerator foot even and just slightly move up the clutch until you feel the car just pull a little bit against the handbrake. You'll feel it when you're in the car and you'll watch the revs stabilise it. Yeah? So just feel it pull the handbrake a little bit. Then take your hat, left hand, put it keeping your feet absolutely still left hand on the handbrake, pull up slightly, button in, handbrake down. Now you're ready, both hands on the wheel at the 10 to 2 position, just holding your right foot absolutely still, just let lift your left foot a tiny amount, it's barely moving, and actually you will see how little that movement is. As you lift slightly up from the bike point, the car moves forwards. As you push back down to where the bite point was, the car stops again. See how little my foot is moving. And there is the forward motion of the car to confirm it. Okay, to stop, release your foot from the accelerator. 
put it on the brake, at the same time push the clutch pedal fully to the floor. Now put the handbrake back on with the left hand, right up tight, button in, pull up tight. Push the gear, take the gear lever, put it back into neutral, just slide it back, it will, it's got a spring, the spring moves it from side to side, that's called the bias. Yep. So just let it come, use the bias spring, let it come straight back to neutral, shake from side to side, then rest your feet. Job done. You've moved the car forwards about, well in this case probably about two feet and stopped it. That is the end of your instructional video. If you want to turn the engine off then obviously all you have to do is what I am now doing. Just turn the ignition key right back and the engine goes off. Thanks for your attention.